Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week I'm going to give you five of my favourite Alison Chains riffs or openings, if you like. Now, they're some of my favourites. Like I've got tons of favourite Alison Chains riffs, but they're just some of my favourites I picked and I thought I'd share with you. Just to keep the interest, as you can see, I'm in a different location again. So for the next two weeks, I'm still going to be moving about, but hopefully then I can settle down and we can start to get into some serious tutorials again, okay? Um, I'm currently up in an, like, almost in the spare room in the attic, and it's like 42, 42 degrees outside. I can't even talk. I've had to switch the fan off because of the um, microphone. So, yeah, my apologies for sweating all over the camera. Let's get into it. Number one. Yes, Love, Hate, Love from the Facelift album, and I'm sure you'll agree it's a pretty cool riff to play on the acoustic guitar. Okay, really simple, straightforward, ninth and 10th fret, first finger on the B string, second finger on the G string. Here you go. So open D. And so open D, G, B, G. All right. Then when I slide that um, shape, it looks like a you know, like when you're playing thirds. Slide it down to the sixth and seventh fret. And you just play G, B, E, open E. There's no fingers on there, okay? So. Now when you come back up to that previous position, just pop your pinky on that 12th fret and hit the bottom E. There you go, very mysterious, okay? I'm sliding, so I'm keeping both fingers on the strings really. I'm sliding, watching my second finger go up to the 15th, sorry, 14th fret. Then coming down to the 12th and the 13th. So, so I'm hitting the G string, sliding up, the B string, and then both of them, a little bit of vibrato on there if you like, okay? So the whole thing. Number two. Yeah, so it's quite hard on the acoustic guitar just because of that bend. So alternatively, when you're playing the E chord, reverse drum, and you can move, you can slide between third and fifth and come back. That works quite nice. Or when you're actually tuned lower in a in, in the in a step down as they do on the record, that actually gets a bit easier as well. Okay. Number three, I couldn't not put this on. It's one of my ultimate favourites, if not my number one from the Dirt album, probably my favorite album as well. And it's just got those lovely open chords. I teach this to my students all the time. Classic, enjoy. Sounds really lovely, and it's just an F sharp. So we've got that E shape again. It's an F sharp major bar, okay? And all I'm doing, I'm lifting off that bar. So you could do it like this. I teach some of my students to play it like this. That's quite nice as well. I 
think he tends to leave the first finger on the F sharp, so you keep the key. So I'm just lift, lifting the, the bar to expose the B and the top E. Slide up to the fifth. Down, up, down, up, down. When it comes off, down, up, down, up, down. Now the down, up, down, up, you don't really hear it, so you could just do. Right? So you could just do something like that. Down and. Sorry, down and down. Down and down. Rooster. Number four, no excuses from Jar of Flies. And I can hear you guys saying, why no excuses? Well, because it's very similar to the rooster, but we're moving up the fretboard with that same chord shape. Beautiful on the acoustic guitar. So it's the same as like rooster, same chord, you know. So I'm playing that A major bar chord, I'm releasing the top B and E, and I'm sliding up to B, the fifth fret, okay? On the record you'll hear overlay, two I think two guitars overlaid on that. Um, what I try and do is hit the... I think, from memory, the G and the D. Something like that. The top E, G, D, and that kind of references the bass line, okay? Okay, so it's just roughly, all right? Just to give you that idea, just to give you that feel. Now the rhythm, so I'm strumming down. As I'm sliding up, I'm doing an up strum. Finally, number five, Heaven Beside You from the self-titled Alice in Chains album, which was released, I believe, in 1995. I remember it clearly, I was there. Um, not my favorite album, but some great tracks on there. You're probably wondering at this point why I haven't included Nutshell, because everyone plays that. Learn something different. Cool little kind of bluesy riff, right? You know, and you hear this a lot in Alice in Chains stuff. So I'm plucking the bottom E, first finger, fifth fret on the D string. I'm resolving it in the E, okay, which is the seventh fret on the A string. So you can see me bend, bend in that string. So it's E. That note is actually G there, fifth fret on the D string. Okay, I'm leaving my third finger down and then pl playing that kind of fifth shape, that bar chord shape. But just the, the dyad, just the two note fifth chord and leaving the D string open. So E, A, D, A. Then I'm moving that whole position, that whole chord, down to the third fret. 
Notice when I pluck the bottom E string, the A note, then I slide it and finish the chord. So So when you've gotten down to G, you're just going to hit A and D. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed my five Alison Chains intros. If you've got any suggestions for further Alison Chains tutorials, let me know in the comments box below. I love to hear from you guys and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. Also. I've got an Instagram account. You can send me any requests over there. And I've got a PayPal donation button set up over on my website. Any loose change is massively appreciated as I don't get paid for these lessons, guys. So thank you so much for your support. I'll see you again at the same time next week. Enjoy.